Welcome guys. In this tutorial, we will see how to simulate a shell and a VTX range here and to analyze its performance. Let's open the ANSYS workbench. Click and drag the fluid flow fluent system into the workbench. The first thing we need to have for this analysis is a geometry of a shell and a VTX range here. I have already created a geometry using design modeler. If you are familiar with any other softwares, you can create the geometry on your software of interest and we can import that. Here I am importing the geometry. I will also share my geometry uh, in the description. You can download that geometry and use it. I have imported the geometry. Uh, let's check the geometry now. Since we are interested to uh, simulate the shell and tube heat exchange here, we need to have two bodies. One is the tube. Another one is the shell and we should also ensure that both the body should be set as fluid so that it will be it will behave as fluid when it is imported to fluid. Uh, we have to ensure that both the fluid bodies are different so that we can have an interface between that. Now let us close the geometry and double click the mesh. Once the meshing module is opened and the geometry is imported to this machine model we can start naming the boundaries for this particular analysis we need to have at least four boundaries for tube inlet and tube outlet similarly the shell inlet and shell outlet let's name the boundaries let's name the tube inlet right click the uh, inlet of this tube and create name selection as tube inlet Similarly name the shell inlet, click the, click the surface and right click and create name selection that is shell inlet. Similarly this one is the tube outlet, create name selection and this one is the shell outlet. If you cannot select properly, uh, go to this selection filter and click face selection filter and select the surface. This is shell outlet. Let's go to the isometric view and let's ensure whether it is named properly. Click this name selections and uh, this is the tube inlet, this is shell inlet, this is tube outlet and this is shell outlet. Now we have named all these boundaries properly. Now let's create a arbitrary mesh. We haven't specified any dimension. If you want to have a fine mesh, you can also have control over this element size. Just for this demonstration purpose, I haven't concentrated on that. Again, we have to ensure that we have two geometries. One is this uh, tube, another one is this shell. We can also see a connection has been established between this tube and shell. We can, you can click that contact region and you can see once you click that you can see the outside of the tube and the inside of the shell is connected using a contact region or an interface. Now we can close this, right click and click update and double click the setup to enter into the fluent system. If your computer processor have more number of cores, you can select the number of cores appropriately and you can start the simulation. Now you can see the mesh is loaded in the ANSYS Fluent. Uh, you can see the boundaries that we have named. This is the inlet of the shell and outlet of the shell, inlet of the tube and outlet of this tube. We can also see the name selection that we have given. That is shell inlet, tube inlet and in the outlet boundaries we can see shell outlet and tube outlet. Then go to models and enable this energy equation so that we can include the temperature in this analysis. And then we have to use water as working fluid. So go to materials and expand this fluid. We have only air as working fluid here. Double click the air so that we can open the uh, materials panel and go to the fluid database there at the last you can find water liquid h2o and click this copy and you can close this now we have loaded this 
material water liquid drainage system but we haven't designed to these uh, regions so for that we have to click cell zone conditions change that to water liquid and the important thing that we have to do is go to the mesh interface and click the contact region here you can see the contact region source and target you have to change this to a coupled wall so that heat will be transferred to that whereas mass transfer will not take place go to the inlet boundaries in the shell inlet shell is the cold fluid circuit and let's give a velocity of 0.3 meter per second and let's give uh, the temperature as 300 kelvin and click apply and close similarly go to the tube inlet tube is a hot fluid circuit so let's give a high temperature there go to thermal and change the temperature to 500 degree uh, 500 kelvin and go to momentum and give a magnitude of 0.3 meter per second and apply and then close it simply leave the outlet boundary so that that will be applied as zero gauge pressure then initialize the solution then click the run calculation and for a sample i will give only 10 iterations you have to run more number of iterations to get a converge solution and click calculate let us create a surface uh, to be acting as a cross section at the middle so create surface create a plane that should be xy plane so that it will be perpendicular right so this is the plane that we need and now this is exactly at its center we can give this a zero so that it will be exactly at the center so that is named as plane 13 i think go to the contours go to temperature and the plane 12 is the plane that we have created and click and click display disable this global range to use your local range So now we can see the plot uh, this is the high temperature fluid that is going to the uh, fluid into the tube and this is the low temperature uh, fluid liquid that is coming from the shell and uh, it, it gets the heat from these uh, tubes and it is we can see you can observe the temperature it is getting increased uh, when it is coming to the outlet uh, we can also uh, see the exact values of these things go to reports as a report and go to surface integrals here we need to compute the temperature at the inlets and outlets right so click the shell inlet shell outlet tube inlet tube outlet click all these four boundaries and go to face at average average of temperature on these four uh, walls click compute now you can see the inlet is given as 300 degrees celsius as we have given similarly the tube inlet is given as 500 as we have given we can observe that the 300 degrees celsius is getting increased by 60 degrees when it is coming out of this uh, shell similarly the high temperature fluid uh, when it is entering at 500 degrees it loses the temperature and this, this and the temperature is around 462 when it leaves the uh, heat exchanger so that heat is being transferred to the shell shell fluid so now this value can be used for T1 and T2 for your calculations. We know the fundamental heat transfer equation. So delta T is the difference between these two, these two uh, temperatures and we can use this for further calculations and nozzle number and everything. Hope this video helped you. If you have any doubts or if you need any clarification, please feel free to contact me. Thank you.